Hi everybody, Jose Heredia with ADJ here for another Facebook Live. Today we're going to be talking about the Color Stand LED, which is a really cool product. And I'm going to show you what the Color Stand LED or the CSL 100 is. Take a look. On either side of the Pro Event Table, we have two speaker stands. One with scrim and one without scrim. So the Color Stand LED is essentially a lit up light stand or a lit up speaker stand. All three legs of the stand contain LEDs inside and with the RF remote I can change the color, change the intensity and change uh, its modes. It's got several modes so let's go through the different colors. Uh, you can with a remote access uh, color directly. We have red, green, blue, yellow, cyan and magenta however it does have additional colors if you wanted to get additional colors there's a plus and minus color so you can scroll up to the different colors be able to pick the one that you want the best maybe uh, select the colors that match the decor of the event that you're doing so if you're doing a wedding a sweet 16 a backyard boogie or maybe even a Halloween party a corporate party or even uh, a lounge style cocktail party you can match the colors of whatever uh, event you have in mind aside of us accessing the colors directly you can also adjust the brightness so if these uh, uh, this color is a little bit too bright or this uh, state is a little bit too bright I could bring down the brightness just a tad and uh, that will give us a little bit more muted color and if you notice the one with scrim uh, I am going to show you how they look both with scrim because that's a question we've been asked uh, a lot since we've introduced these last year is how does it look with scrim and by the end of the show you're gonna I'm gonna actually walk you through the process of putting a scrim on the speaker stand and then lighting it up and how to attach the scrim to the speaker stand so going back to the different colors I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the brightness and we also have the different modes by the way in the box uh, comes included uh, not only the stand, but you're also included a, uh, a DC transformer, which you use to plug in the scrim. And if you come over here, we do have this wire that is kind of like a pigtail wire that it's attached to the stand. This becomes detached, and then the black part, the black wire, goes to your power source, which in this case is kind of like a three-way uh, power outlet for my light for my pro event table and my other scrim. Uh, sorry, my other CSL 100. So there, I just simply plug it in. We got power, and now I could use the remote control to access the different colors. And it's very easy to access the colors, change the different colors, and even do a uh, demo mode, which I'm going to do right now. This is uh, the several demo, or I should say, mode scenes that comes available. There's uh, color scrolls, color strobes. There's color uh, fades, all different sorts of cool colors. And also included in the box is uh, RF remote, which you can use to uh, control both stands at the same time. So if you buy two stands, you'll have two remotes, one for each stand. However, all you need is one remote to be able to control both stands. They're really great for those of you who do like school dances or kids parties as a safety factor to keep the kids away from the speaker stands and having them trip or maybe even a senior citizen party where uh, you know a safety factor is involved where you don't want people to trip over the stand if you have black stands uh, that could be a problem uh, the weight capacity on the stand uh, you could put up to 60 pounds uh, so here we have two speakers that are ideal for this uh, type of stand and it just adds a really cool element to your event I'm still going through the different uh, modes here and I can even change the speed of the strobe so if I wanted to go faster I could just hit the plus sign or if I wanted to go slower I just hit the minus sign so it's really easy to get in and out alright so uh, let's talk about uh, the scrim as well and I already have one set up over here. These are the ADJ Pro Event Scrim. 
And uh, these are great uh, scrims for almost any speaker stand available out there. You don't have to necessarily have the uh, CSL 100. Oh, the price, how much? Uh, these are about $79.99, so about $80 for just one. So if you want two, you're looking at about $160 for two. And so uh, we have this uh, speaker scrim cover for almost any kind of speaker stand. And it's a great way to cover the speaker stand, but also to hide your wires. If you're running wires in and out of the speaker, it's a great way to keep it nice and tidy. Very elegant, especially for weddings and sweet 16s, quinceañeras. So what we're, we're going to do is we're going to put this one on this one so we can match the other side. First things first, we're going to have to remove the speaker from the speaker stand. And the way I remove the speaker stand is I put my foot just on the speaker stand on one of the uh, brace supports so that I keep it down. And now I'm going to lift the speaker stand up from the speaker stand, just like that. Very simple. Stand right here. And we're going to slide the scrim over the speaker stand pole. And I want you to notice a couple of things. Uh, for one, there is a through hole that allows you to run your wires through the hole inside and out. And there's also three seams. Each seam corresponds to one of the legs of the uh, scrim cover. So I'm going to keep this through hole on this side so I can run my wires within the DJ side. So I'm going to keep that in mind. I'm going to go ahead and place the scrim over this pole. And I want this hole to be kind of on this side. That way this seam will run to that leg and this seam will run to this leg. So I'm going to slide it over just like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and go down, lift the speaker stand up on one side, cover the leg, stretch it over, cover this leg, stretch it over, and I could already see the speaker scrim working in action. Here's the last one. I'm going to go ahead and stretch it out and cover it on the leg. And we're almost good to go. Now, one a last thing is we're going to try to keep this scrim as tidy as possible so it's nice and stretch. And there's one way we can do it, and that is using an O-clamp. Many of you probably have this uh, typical O-clamp within your arsenal, in your toolbox, and it's nothing really special. It is the 1.5 inch O-clamp uh, available. What I do is I'll take the, the, the nut out so that there's no nut protruding. And, or you could have it attached and attach a light to it. So not only can you use it to hold up the scrim, you can use it to attach a light to it. But I'm going to just use this as a scrim holder. And these are very affordable. These are about five bucks, four bucks. They're not that expensive. As a matter of fact, if you wanted to get fancy, check this out. We have the special O Slim Pearl, which is white. See, this is a really nice, cool way of hiding that clamp and blending in with the speaker stand. What you do have to do if you buy the Oslin Pearl, uh, it does need your adapter, 1.5 inch adapter. So what you could do is buy the Oslin 1.5, which is the same as this, except uh, this one's white and this one's black. And this is how it would look. So you could buy two of these, or you could buy two of these and just use the adapters depending on which, uh, you're gonna, which color you're going to use for that particular moment. And that adapter allows a, a little nicer, tighter fit. So that way, you could just clamp it in, screw it in, and it's locked nice and tight. Very affordable, about four bucks. Or you could just use a standard O-clamp. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And there's no particular way of attaching it. What I do is, um, if I'm going to go ahead and uh, attach it to the scrim, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I get the seam so that the seam is right in the middle of the clamp. Once I do that, I can go ahead and screw it in and then adjust it as soon as I put the speaker stand. So there it is. Let's go ahead and put the speaker stand on. There we go. And now I can go ahead and bring it up all the way. Now if you wanted to get even fancier, what you can do is uh, attach the O-clamp, say below the seam, and then if you wanted to, you could just uh, fold this out, but I just kind of like to have it right on the seam to have a more secure uh, a fit. 
So there we go. We just attach it, slide it all the way up, secure it in place, and that's it. That's pretty much it. And now I have two scrims on either side of the DJ stand. And if I show you, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the lights to kind of go through the different uh, colors. Check it out. So now we got ourselves a party. We can go and select each color if we wanted to. Of course, we have the UB12H on the bottom lighting up the pro event table. Three uh, battery powered park hands in the back and of course our ADJ Gobo. And we can switch up the different colors and really set up the mood and create a nice uh, effect for the room. If I hit the demo mode, then we get uh, different uh, demo, different uh, colors, it scrolls through the different modes, different flashes. Really a great way to highlight uh, the piece. The price for the CSL 100 is $79.99. And uh, that includes your speaker stand, which holds up to 60 pounds, your uh, DC transformer, and one uh, wireless remote, which is RF, radio frequency. So I don't have to have the remote pointing towards the speaker stand. I could just point it towards me if I wanted to, and it'll still work. It's radio frequency. So here, again, this is the different modes. This is how they look uh, in party mode. So a really great product for those of you who are looking to add something different. Because I know a lot of people, a lot of DJs say, what's out there? What's new? I'm kind of tired of the same old speaker stand look, uh, the tripod look. This is a different alternative altogether because you're adding LED color to your tripod, adding a very distinct feel to your setups. So if you have any further questions, go ahead and put them up on the chat room. The price, again, is about $80, $79.99, and you can find them anywhere. They are going to hit the streets very, very soon. Okay. Bienvenidos todos ustedes a nuestro programa. Tenemos aquí una presentación de nuestro nuevo producto de ADJ SSL, Color Stand LED. El Color Stand LED es un tripié para un speaker, para una bocina, que tiene luces de LED en cada pie. Lo puede usar como un accesorio para su equipo de DJ, para darle un, diferent, un look diferente de, de lo que está acostumbrado. Y también lo que hemos hecho uh, es presentado este look, que es, viene siendo un scrim o un, este, una tela especial que se cubre y así no tiene que ver este, los alambres que están saliendo del, del speaker al DJ y le da un look bien diferente. Tiene eh, contenido adentro de la caja del speaker stand, este, el cable para conectar el, el stand y también un, un remoto. Y con el remoto puede accesar o uh, oprimir los botones que indican el color específico. Puede cambiar los colores en un color eh, que usted quiera o puede cambiar los shows o diferentes modos. Buen accesorio de tener para los disco movibles, los sonidos compactos y este, para los eventos de quinceañeras, bodas o cualquier evento que necesita una luz portátil ya integrado en el stand de los speakers. Y aproximadamente cuesta como 80 dólares y se los puede encontrar bien pronto en su tienda favorita de ADJ. So what do you guys think? Is this uh, something that you would add, definitely add to your arsenal? I know I'm definitely looking at it as well. It's really great uh, product to have. And we do have uh, some people on our chat room now. Let's see if we can uh, access our chat room and uh, see who would like to know any of our um, questions or if there are any questions out there. Here we go. American DJ. Send us your questions. Oh, yeah, check it out. I got you guys right here. Let's do a quick shout out if we can. But DJ Bar, how you doing, DJ Bar? And I could hear myself on this on the on the thing. I gotta lower the volume over here. Perfect. El Chief Alberto Lopez. Yes, it works for you. I'm glad it does work for you. Uh, Neil El Rebelde. Good to see you, Joe Mini Carter. Uh, Ernie ADJ Bias, he's one of our uh, uh, product specialists. 
And yes, we are shipping now. These are definitely heading out uh, the door as we speak. How high do they go? How high do they go? Well, <clears throat> the speaker stands, uh, I have them uh, here at a kind of like a medium height. If you want, we can go ahead and take them down and show you how high they can go. I'm going to go ahead and take this one apart so you guys can take a closer look. So this is how I have the speaker stand uh, set up. I'm going to go ahead and put my, oh, you know what, let me put the color on a static color. So there we go. So it's not too distracting. Let's remove the speaker. And I can show you how high these guys go. They go pretty high. They uh, have these uh, holes or notches that they can use to kind of give you a height. So this is as low as they can go. Let me just remove uh, the pin, there's a safety pin that goes in there. So if you remove the pin, this goes all the way down and then you could tighten it up for transportation. This pin has a special holder so that it doesn't uh, uh, get loose in the bag or if you have a bag that uh, you can add. So you remove the pin, unscrew the, and it kind of springs up to action. So one, two, these are the holes. Three, that's where I had it. Four, I believe one more, five. After that, it kind of goes to the end. So this is as high as it can go. Let me go ahead and put the pin in. Make sure you always have the safety pin in. There we go. I gotta find the little hole on the other side. There you go. Keep it in there. Screw it back in place. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the speaker stand up. That way you can see a side-by-side -side difference of how high it can go. Six feet. That's as high as it can go, and there you go. Here's where we have it kind of like in the middle, medium size, and this is as high as it can go, which is pretty high. That's exactly the height where you want to be if you're in a uh, dance floor, shooting across uh, to the dance floor for your guests to enjoy the party and have a good dance. It's a great question, guys. Any other questions? What is the model number? The model number is CSL-100. CSL-100 color stand LED. This is a really cool uh, stand for those of you who are looking for something different. It's uh, looking to add diversity into your light show. And uh, you do have the access to um, get, uh, so you do have a remote control which you can access different colors. You can go straight to a specific color, red, green, blue, yellow, cyan, magenta, or white or you can hit the color button and choose different colors uh, presets that you can pick. So your choice. Great questions, guys. Shall we see how they look in the dark? Just take a look how they, how they showcase in the dark. Keep popping those questions up. Let me know if you have any questions at all. Let's hit uh, uh, show mode. Ooh, that's cool. That's one with scrim and one without scrim. Which one do you prefer? Do you like the one with scrim or one without? Let us know. Here's a flash, red flash, a green flash. I don't have any music for you guys, so I'm going to have to beatbox for you again. Are the legs plastic? Bill Carrington, yes, they are plastic. Let's take a closer look at uh, the legs of the LED speaker stand. If you take a closer look over here, you can see that uh, the three legs contain inside an LED strip and the legs are plastic. They do have a definite weight limit. The weight limit is about 60 pounds, which is plenty for most speakers out there, uh, most uh, uh, self-powered speakers even. Uh, so after 60 pounds, you kind of don't want to put anything heavier than that. But uh, yes, these are made of uh, pretty good solid, well not solid, but uh, they're very uh, heavy duty plastic, you know, which are not going to break on you for normal use. Great questions, guys. Very different. Yes, it is very different. Uh, I've never seen anything out there before the CSL uh, 100s came out, and you know, I think uh, they're pretty awesome. And uh, they look great with or without the scrim. I'm kind of a scrim guy myself, uh, and uh, I like to have a nice, neat DJ setup, and the scrim kind of just adds to the elegance 
or if you're just doing a normal party in the backyard boogie, or maybe even outside in the field doing um, uh, an, an outdoor event. Uh, these will come in handy, of course, be great. Especially if you do in corporate parties, great way to make sure that uh, there's a safety factor involved so that people don't trip on the speakers themselves. And of course, the added accessories with this uh, scrim cover uh, and the O clamps. The O clamps are super affordable. They're about four or five bucks a piece. You can add a normal O clamp with the 1.5 O ring attachment, or you can go with the slim uh, O clamps. This is the uh, O slim 1.5. That's a 1.5 inch uh, diameter hole. Right now, I took the adapters out, so this is actually a two inch diameter hole, which you can still use for your normal DJ lighting. Or you can go with the Oslim Pearl, which is white, and that way it kind of hides the clamp altogether, kind of uh, masquerades or uh, is camouflaged. And it's your choice whether you want to uh, give it a height. So if you want to go all the way up, if you want to bring it down, kind of give it a, a lazy uh, uh, effect or kind of like a drape over effect or just kind of stretch it out and then screw it in to, to keep it nice and taut or bring it all the way up to six feet and be able to give it a full scrim effect so great questions guys what do you think put them up on the chat room we'll read your name and your question out in the air uh, let's see Stephen Filiz Filizetti you could probably clamp a color bar to through the center pole actually yeah I think you can actually uh, I would go as far as adding maybe a UB bar uh, we have the UB 12H here we have the UB 9H we have the UB 6H even the 6H you could put a bar right down here in the middle on either side and be able to complement to the three uh, uh, legs of the LED stand great question guys so you could have it on a static mode and have all of them you know show blue yes we have another question yeah. DMX, is this DMX compatible? Unfortunately, it is not. There is no DMX control. There is control through the RF remote, which you can use to control both of them at the same time. There are different color modes and different color presets, but there is no DMX control. Great question, guys. Here we go, let's, yeah, here we go. So we're gonna do a couple of uh, the modes here. Here's one mode. As you can see, they're, they're, they're doing different colors. If I hit it again, now they're doing the same color. I'm going to hit it again, flashing through a different color. I, I'm very partial to the scrim side of myself. I don't know about you guys. Here's another mode, yellow. And I could make it go slower if I wanted to. Even slower still. Even sound effects, or I can make it go faster. I could even make it less brighter, dim it down a bit. If I hit a, a static color, here's uh, the dimming capabilities. There's as low as it goes, and then let's bring it up again. Very nice. These are very popular. They, these were a hit at DJ Expo just uh, last month. A lot of people taking these home and already hitting the streets uh, at DJ Expo, but you can order yours today. Call your local ADJ dealer, go online, or visit your ADJ store and pick these up uh, very, very soon. These are now shipping out our doors to your door. So pick them up, the CSL 100, about $80. I was gonna say bucks, but uh, it came out wrong. $80 and they're yours and buy two so that you can have two on either side, or just buy one for a light stand. Here we have another question. They want to know how, can you explain the, how the power is? Yes, yeah, so the power is very simple. Uh, in the box, you'll have uh, the remote control, the stand itself, and an added transformer. So here's the transformer itself. I have it plugged in down here. And so this is the uh, transformer. It just plugs into uh, your normal outlet comes with this, uh, the, the transformer itself and the socket. All you have to do is attach the socket to the pigtail. Here's the pigtail itself. And the pigtail stays within the stand. And all you have to do is plug in the transformer to the plug, which I'm gonna do now. 
underneath my pro event table. I hope you guys noticed my pro event table, which was featured on ABC, I might add. And now you're, uh, you got power to the stand and it will always remember the last state it was in. And if I hit uh, a different color, it will just jump on and quickly and easily be able to go to the different colors. Really great uh, product for those of you on the go. There's no fuss, no muss, no programming. Everything is controlled via the remote control and you can be DJing and enjoying the stand as you go along. Any other questions, guys? Any plans on a battery powered Wi-Fi version? Not right now, DJ True. Uh, this is just uh, brand new to us. I'm sure if there is a battery powered remote control version that uh, you guys will soon know. Are they sound sensitive? Great question. There is no uh, sound or audio active uh, mode in this unit. Uh, if you wanted to kind of mimic that node, you could hit the demo mode and it would go into uh, its own different show, uh, but there's no sound active on the, the unit. Arnold Offerman, hello, welcome to the show. Misael Lascano Granados, hola de Peru, bienvenidos, thank you very much for watching. Here we go, what's the power cord like? Yeah, the power cord that we just showed you, it's got a simple transformer and about three feet of cord. Plenty of room, plenty of length for you to plug in uh, power, your, your power source from this from let's say the DJ system to your speaker stand and then add your speaker wires accordingly. So if there are any more questions, uh, I'll go ahead and close out uh, this uh, Facebook. Uh, please join us uh, again next week. Any, any other questions, Brian? Just again, asking about the index and price. Yeah, so the price, once again, to finalize, it's about $79.99, 80 bucks, uh, uh, very affordable easy to get into. You can buy two of them for your two speakers. Uh, and uh, uh, again, comes with a remote control and your power supply. And uh, that's pretty much it. The added accessories we see here, the scrim is separate and the O clamps to keep the scrim up are separate as well. But they're also affordable too. These uh, O clamps are about five bucks each. So go ahead and to our website at adj.com to find out more information about the O clamps, the scrim, the speaker stand, hey, even the speakers, we make them all. And uh, ask your local dealer for uh, prices and uh, specials. So on behalf of everybody here at ADJ, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Here we go. Whoop, 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 whoop.